one day I came home and there was a vehicle there. And Dundalk residents tired of strange cars parking along this dead end on Crafton Avenue. People coming out of the dead end and a car stops, picks them up and they ride away and then they're brought back. So it's almost like it's just kind of weird. The neighbors getting credit for helping police capture a man accused of pretending to be a police officer. No, I was just dealing with the investigators told me to do. Police arrested 30-year-old Brian Cooper Jr. of Dundalk on charges of impersonating a police officer, rape, sex offense, and assault, accusing him of displaying a badge and handcuffs to two women, raping one victim and sexually assaulting the other. This is shocking news. I, I come by here every single day, you know, just never seen anything like this before. We check, he's never been in law enforcement. He has never been a cop. But a victim tells police Cooper claimed to be a Baltimore County police officer after picking her up along Dundalk Avenue at Graceland Avenue, pulling out a badge and handcuffs. A court charging document indicates he also read Miranda rights and searched her, then asked, what would you do to stay out of jail? The first victim actually said, go ahead and lock me up. And after the alleged rape, he stated she should drop his name for a free pass if she ever got into any trouble with the law. Police say they caught Cooper in the act February 28th, a call brought them to the Crafton Avenue dead end where they found Cooper inside a car with another victim. As he got out of the car, a badge and a pair of handcuffs fell onto the street. Police are asking other possible victims who may be reluctant to come forward. Regardless of what these women may or may not have been doing, uh, they were victimized. Now Cooper is out on $350,000 bail. Reporting live from Towson, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.